Sorry, hey everyone, Jazz the Drummer here. Well, today I'm going to be doing a airsoft video on the three custom guns I have so far. The first one, one of two of them are spring, one of them is gas blowback. Yeah, this one is the first. It's uh, an AK-47, as you can probably see. And as you can probably hear, it is spring powered. And that theory is easily proved in two ways. One, that just doesn't do fully automatic. And two, Uh, this was originally orange when I got it, and it did come with a retractable stock. The bad news is, however, I was always the first one picked out. One second. There we go. Sorry. That was always the first one to get picked out and shot. So I, I'm, I've painted this green with some like brown bits on the front. If you can probably see, I'm not sure if you can. Yeah, you probably can now. Uh, going along the barrel, uh, green textured ha hand grip, brown body with a white streak. So just to add effect, uh, it's all plastic except for two pieces the barrel and the cocking handle safety is situated here on a real AK you would have safe fully auto about there and then semi auto uh, you've got the trigger obviously you can, probably, you can probably see the orange bits inside the trigger guard and some of these scratch bits yeah, I'm really going to have to repaint this. But, yeah, that's the end of one. The second... I will jump... Well, the third, I will pick up... This is the gas blowback. I'm really running low on gas. So it's going to take a little while. Yep, that should do it. Leave that. The second one is the Cadet GP SA80 L85. This is again spring, but this is a lot nicer. Now I'm not sure if you know what a bullpup system is, but basically it means when the cocking handle, uh, the shell re the shell ejection chamber, and the magazine are all situated behind the trigger. So the S80, perfect example of a bullpup system. Um, it's a again was orange, as you can probably see inside. Yep, it was originally orange. I painted this brown. Originally they're painted olive green, but I thought. Well, then I'll break the mold. Uh, the magazine was originally black, and I painted it white. I didn't because I did a tiger camouflage with it, and it did not work out at all. So then I painted it brown, and it's turned out all right. Scopey really doesn't like this, so Scopey's the guy on my other channel. Oh, shit. JJ and Scopey, so. Yeah, now this is mo this is still mostly plastic, but there are a lot more metal pieces on here. Firstly, the trigger guard. Sorry about the lag, it's really, really annoying, I'm sorry. There's the trigger guard. The trigger is plastic. The barrel, muzzle, and foresights are metal. The rest is plastic, but it has got a pretty good weight to it. It's not so heavy that you can't use it. That's Scopey's new AK. 
which we will do a, re a re video review on some other time on JJ and Scopey. Uh, so this is a British weapon. As you can probably tell by the British Army Union Jack thing. Uh, yeah. Boom! So that's the second um, of the three customs, and the third. Now this is my all-time favourite. This one I've customised for my other YouTube channel. It is fully metal, and I'm not kidding. The only non-metal piece is the slide, and it is this. The CZ-75 Cieska Zabroska, since 1936, originally originated in the Czech Republic. Pardon me. Czeska Zabroska roughly means Czech Arms Factory, I think. Now what I like about this, you can either have... I'll do a quick demo for you. So you've got double action, and then you've got... Single action. Both work pretty well. This was obviously a lighter green. You can just see a little bit of the remaining light green on the underneath of the barrel. Wait, no slide. As I said, the only metal... The only non-metal piece is the slide itself. That's magnesium. So it's still a very, very high quality gun. It's really got a good weight to it. It's, it's very nice. Uh, yeah, this is a gas blowback. The safety is now on. Well, first what you gotta do, pull back the hammer and then safety's on. And if you take the safety off when you pull the trigger, it flies back. So if you do pull the trigger, make sure you pull it back a little bit more, and then there you go. So as you can see, I painted the front bit silver. The tip of the sight's red. Uh, the back sight's uh, blue and red. And I've done JJ on it because that was that's the name of my other. That's my true nickname, JJ. I've also painted the hand grip brown, so it's for a shooting test. So this is double action. I'm now going to show you single action. Sorry, there's something buzzing in that, and it went out. Sorry. The internals are all metal. You can probably see the internals there. If I pull it back a bit further, they slide back. So the internals are just uh, are just above my finger. Bad Desert Eagle style spin round. Rah. I'm running out of gas just like that. Bring it back. Come on, two more shots. I can easily manage two more shots, I think. One, two, three, four.
Sorry, I'm really sorry about the lag, it's terrible right now. And that's it. Sorry, just my sort of this eagle star reload. It's more. I really want to try and get myself a uh, gas blowback Desert Eagle because they're just too cool. JJ, Jazza, Drama, Banzai. Goodbye, thank you for watching.